Hiya, it's me, Sambo. Welcome back to another City Fix episode. Episode 13, right? Yeah, 13. So in today's episode, we're going to be working on this one specific industrial area. Trust me, there's a lot to do. It's probably going to have the most changes in any City Fix video so far. So sit down, get a snack, get ready. So let's get into it. But just before we actually do get into it, um, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Also, give this video a like if you would like to see more City Fix videos. Of course, there's going to be more coming, but if you give me a like, it really just reassure, reassures me. And also, if you'd like to upload your city, you can just go to the content manager on City Skylines. Um, you can upload it through there onto Steam, and then you can just send me the link via Instagram, the comments below, or you can just write my name in the title on Steam and I shall find it. Ah, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> today we are in a city called Westwood, is it Westwood or Westbrook? Westwood, yeah, so I was right in the first time. Um, traffic percentage, last time I checked, was like 40%, it's down, it's pretty low. Uh, we're going to be working on this area here, so as you saw in the intro, yeah, it's it's a little bit messy, there's a lot of things that we need to do, um, so we need to manage these roundabouts, this intersection over here, this one, um, we need to change the roads around a little bit, we need to manage this big guy over here as well. So we've got a few different things to work on, so why don't we jump straight in? Oh my god, like, oh my god, that's a lot, that's pretty, oh, jeez, oh my, oh, okay, so it just, there's just too much traffic coming in through here. Um, we need better highway connections, so currently what they're doing is, this is the only way to get over to the highway, so if for some reason, actually it looks like a lot of them are leaving this area and wanting to go over to here, but it's just too much to handle, so we need to make them use this instead of wanting to go other in other places so they can get on the highway really easy. Um, the, the road connections are, are questionable, it's, oh girl, it's not that great but well done to, to the person so far you've managed to do a pretty big city and the traffic isn't too bad like this is the only problem area I'm also going to make use of this how it just kind of ends here and how it goes over here and kind of just ends so we need to fix that up just to show you guys there you go so this is all of the problem areas I feel like once we fix up this roundabout and this exit from the highway uh, things are going to run smoother it I have to admit it is getting worse when I opened it it was like 45 or something and now it's gone down even lower just because there's so much and it is horrible <laughs> a problem that we're having in through here is there's a lot of main roads going everywhere and we have these smaller connections smaller connections um, and we need to kind of just manage those a little bit so we need to find which is the main road that we want to go through here and then we can disconnect those smaller roads that are going to disrupt the flow. Also I just want to point out this highway connection overpass here it actually lacks a few different off ramps so for example if you're coming along here and you want to go down here there's no way for you to actually go so for example you have these little lanes here that get you up here these ones that come here but if you're coming down here you don't actually have one that goes around and back down to there same for this side you don't have one that goes here and back around to that side um so now we do have spaghetti this is why i like to do the roundabout um on and off ramps because it, it makes it so much simpler looking but anyway um i've added in this lane here which goes over all the way around it connects here goes into two lanes and then goes down here into four lanes um, if we come over to here, I've added in this one which goes underneath, duh, 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 comes over to here, connects with this existing one. This one is one lane, then it goes up to two lanes, come down here, goes into four lanes. Um, and then from here you have, it goes three, so that one goes off, then it stays three. Then the third one here goes off, then it goes back down to two lanes, and then from here it goes back up to four. So looks a little bit messy but it is technically going to work and I'm hoping now that we have this lane that goes around here I'm hoping that these trucks and cars will actually start to use this more because originally they couldn't go that way right they had to go all the way up here turn around or they had to go down here and mix in with all of this mess Ugh. okay next I am actually going to remove this whole road right here. It's going to disappear. Duh, 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 duh. This one is also going to disappear and it's going to become a connection from here going along to here. So any cars that are coming from this highway 
Is this a highway? Yeah, it is. Any cars coming over here? Currently, they have to go up through here and mix in with all of this existing traffic. So by putting it along here, it's actually going to help them bypass all of this and they can get directly onto the highway. Okay, update time. So what I have actually d d done is we now have this one goes along here like so. We have a new roundabout here, which then directs them directly on to the highway, which they can easily do. They can go straight up here into the spaghetti, or they can come down here into the spaghetti, go along. So then hopefully this area through here will eventually become a bit, a bit of a ghost town. Um, I've disconnected this road and this road from each other because I don't want them to really interfere with this area because I'm hoping this will become more busy and we don't want to interfere with the local traffic now they can just go up there and get through there somehow or they can go up and around or it'll actually force them to use the highway even more instead of these more local roads um, so instead of just having all of these little connections everywhere like these little roads connecting here These little ones going here 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 and wherever I'm actually guiding them in a certain way And now just to make this more appealing we should probably put the speed up to like Let's put it up to 90 kilometers an hour that goes all the way up to there Yes, it does and then down here that one's also 90 great now. Oh My god. Oh, oh my god. I just can't deal Oh Okay, first of all, what we need to do is remove these planes from off the roads. So what's actually happening is since it's on the road, they're di directly on the road, there's cars going in and out everywhere with trucks actually. Um, see how they do that weird thing, then they build up traffic and then there's all this other traffic trying to get from here up into there. So what I'm actually going to do is flip it. So the entrance for this will be over here somewhere, but it'll, be, it'll actually be off the road a little bit. And also the same for this one. So I'm just going to move the road out here a little bit. So then they will have their own little road just so it's not going to disrupt any traffic on the larger road. Okay, <laughs> let's ignore this boost over here. Um, so you can see I've added in a little roundabout here for easy access on and off, giving them their own little road to go on, turn straight around. We still have the subway. We still have the taxi depot. Come up here, turn around, easy peasy. Now, we'll come down here in a second, but you can see that's already flowing a lot better just because it, they've got a nice little roundabout just off and they're not really worrying about any other traffic in the area. Now I just do the same for this one. I'll move it from here just over to this side, just basically flipping it and giving it, it and giving it its own little road access. Okay, 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 there we go. Now, um, we have some trees. We're a little bit bushy, so we need to trim just a little bit. So get out the razor, cut down some of those trees because those the 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 planes they need some space to land. Like you can't land with the trees there in the way. There we go. I know I don't like removing trees, but sometimes you just got to. So anyway, at least these are off the main roads, so they have their little own. Let, let me just make sure I did it the right way. They have their own little roundabout thingies. I did this one the wrong way. Oopsie, my bad. Let me fix that. There we go. So I don't want them to cross over each other. So that was the wrong way. Did I do this one the wrong way as well? Let me just think. Yes, I did. <laughs> I'm used to doing Australian, the Australian way. So let's just flip, flippity flip, catch it on the flippity side. There we go. So these ones come along and straight around. Yeah, there we go. Straight into the tunnel. That's really good. So at least they have the metro there ready to go. Okay, 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 something like this. Let's press play now. We didn't really have space to fit in this one over here. So we can say, 
bye bye get rid of you so they still have this main road that goes all the way down here or they can just go down here actually no they can't um but even if they're over here they can get onto this mini highway and then they're straight on the actual highway um they can go over here yeah so this is going to be really helpful now i've made it so it's three it's one lane come comes down two lanes come up here goes into three lanes um and then three lanes go along here so maybe it might be a little bit overkill but i wanted a third lane here which is specifically for if they're coming along here and they want to go straight off you know what i mean um and it is a roundabout. The reason why it's a roundabout is because I assume there's going to be a lot of traffic here in the future. So the bigger the roundabout, the better it is. So obviously, if it's really small, it's going to be really congested. People can't really move at a fast speed. Whereas if it's larger like this, they have more space to change lanes and merge and things like that. So larger is, is better, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So let's have a look at this little intersection up here. There seems to be a waiting time going on. So I'm thinking, is there a stop sign here? No, there must be something from this one. There it is. So there's not too much traffic coming in through here. So we can allow these guys to go a little bit faster through. Uh, as you can see, you can, like we go way up here and all this traffic is backed up because they just had to give way. So but by removing that giveaway sign, hopefully that'll make it run a lot smoother. Now let's go down here. This is taking us back down to the intersection, which isn't that great. Hang on a second. What's going on down here now? Let's go like this. So make them, they can go through fast without thinking it's an intersection. There we go. It was building up a bit. So since there is a lot of traffic coming down through here, what I'm going to do is make it so these guys can only turn right. Now, if they do want to go left, they have to go down to the roundabout and then they can come back along. Now, the reason why I'm not allowing them to turn left here is because it's going to remove the traffic lights. And as a result, these cars can go straight through and you can see there is a bit of a build up. So even though it's not too much of a build up, but remo removing those traffic lights will help it go a lot easier. So this one will go straight ahead, so will this one. And then this third lane here will become a turning in lane. Uh, and then so if we come over here, we should probably update this to another lane. Okay, so traffic lights are removed. We have the lane changes in position. Now they have a lot of space to merge lanes all the way down to here. Um, should I update this? all the way but then we have to update actually you've already put four lanes here okay th and then in that case i'm going to continue it all the way down press play i noticed there's some trucks coming out of here like really girl what you doing what you doing also this guy doesn't have power you don't have power we'll use my trusty little european power line there we go and he also needs some vasa okay so that's cleared up this intersection it's great next I might actually remove these smaller roads from this larger road because it's, it is clogging it up a little bit um, and then we'll just drag it down to the end here like so. So they still have these this connection up here. Alright I might remove the traffic lights from down here and just remove the right turn because that was causing a bit of an issue like so good and then we'll make these guys give way so they can still come out but they do just have to give way um this one down here i think it's fine this one down here is fine um the next major thing we need to work on is this intersection right here um okay that guy the guy already did that i just assume he's a guy by the way this one i'm not too bothered about and up here it's oh 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 my god Okay, but before we manage that, we have to manage the other intersection first. I know, I know what you're thinking, another roundabout, really? Damn, son, you love those roundabouts. But um, the reason why I wanted to do a roundabout is because it's easier to manage if we want to do, for example, a slip lane from here all the way over to here that goes above the roundabout. Um, it's easier to do those types of things and um, yeah, it's just going to help a lot more. We need to update that to get the flow going a bit better. Also, I need to fix up the subway that broke because I had to move it just a little bit. Oh, a lot of traffic coming in here now. That's okay. We'll get it done. We'll get there eventually. 
Okay, what I'll do here is the, since it's two lanes, the right lane will be used for entering to the airport, then the one straight ahead will be used for going straight ahead, uh, and then this one will go there. So there's no crossing, crossing over, they can go straight in, straight out, easy peasy, they can choose whichever lane they want from back here. And um, this should be all sweet, it just takes some time to get used to it and update. Also, so while that is figuring itself out, this part right here, I actually want to remove the, the traffic light. And what I want to do is basically, okay, we need to kind of undo a lot of this. I want to kind of kill the road, this road here. So what I mean by that, let me just undo it so it's a clean slate. So basically, this lane here will go straight up around here and then these two lanes will come straight down around here and this road kind of just ends I don't really want it to actually one lane can come up here but then this lane here I don't really want it to I don't think I can do it this way can I oh, yeah I can so I kind of killed it so they can't actually go up here and turn so that way when there's a lot of traffic influx coming from along the from the roundabout they can come up here and they can basically go straight up and around without any interruptions of traffic lights we'll remove the flow from that one and that one and this one can give way that is fine now we're going to remove this one right here as well because we don't need that right there they have this one up here which is totally fine actually now something weird's going on here they're doing a u-turn here for some reason why are you doing a u-turn that's weird why are you not going out here hmm i don't know so i was fixing up the other roundabout but oh my god lord have mercy we're in a traffic jam i might have to actually just delete a few trucks because it's just stuck I like there's nothing wrong with the roundabout it's just that there was so much traffic waiting already so let, I'm just going to demolish a few um, then they can get going I think th oops these guys should give way let's just start making some cars give way to kind of help a bit Oh my god, that took a while to manage, but eventually what I had to do, um, I realized there's just there's too many lanes on a roundabout. I feel like once you go beyond two lanes, it becomes a little bit too much. So I've downgraded all of these roads. So two lanes here, two lanes here, um, two lanes on this side coming in, four lanes on that side, so that's fine. Two lanes here. Um, I've also added in this slip lane here that goes directly over to the airport because a lot of the traffic was coming to the airport. Um, there was also a lot of traffic coming from this side going around trying to get up to the airport. So instead of making them all mix here, I gave these guys a little bit of a shortcut. Phew, that's really great. So now we can finally go over to here, but it looks like it's kind of fixing up itself automatically. Um... I might just downgrade a few of these roads. So this one can go down to three. I feel like four is a little bit too much. I'll leave this one as four, but then this one goes back down to three. Actually, no, this one can go back to two. So the, these two lanes can go here, two lanes, and then two lanes straight off. So this one, even though it's already done, it's saying it can, there, no? That's right, that's what I wanted. Okay, then this one right here has four, but I want it to go back to three. And then this one here will go back to two because the third one disappears. And then three, is that three? That's four. Go to three, there we go, great. Okay, that looks pretty good. It's kind of worked itself out. A um, little bit of traffic build up, but that'll slowly work its way out. Down here, looking pretty good actually. Now the last one that I have to manage is this one here. I, I haven't done anything with it yet. So let's have a look at you. Okay, so as usual, 
uh, let's do this one. So obviously that's fine. But once we get here, I just want that one to go like that. This one can go straight ahead. And this one can turn in. Um, we'll stop the lane merging in the roundabout. So if they want different lanes, they can do that elsewhere. So they can do that, for example, they can change lanes up here. I just want them to change on the roundabout itself because that's when all of the congestion starts. Okay, we'll make this lane turn off, but it can go to either one. Great. Um, we'll make it so they can change lanes in this little part right there, so that should be fine. Um, this one here, they can go to either lane. That one can go down here. Actually, no, we won't do that one. Just remove that. We'll just go like this, just so they can change lanes there. There we go. Easy peasy. Look at that. Done. Da -da -da -dun. Oh. Actually, we'll just wait because there was a lot of traffic that just came out of here that is now up there. So I'm feeling once that traffic goes, it should be fine. While we are at it, my people, let's change this a little bit. We have a little bit of traffic congestion through here. So let's just go like that. Remove the traffic lights. Ding, ding, ding. Now, we have these lanes here. What I'm actually going to do is... Reduce this down to, oops, not that, reduce it down to something like so, so then it's less traffic here going up, um, turn right, then remove this left turn like so, um, that should be fine, actually no, you know what, let's just remove it all together, uh, this traffic here, they can just go over here or here, I don't want to add any more to this main road since it's already quite busy, um, let's just remove that and that so they can go through easy peasy. Now, the last thing that we need to manage is this part right here. Basically, I'm just going to get, ri get rid of this, um, and turn it into a road that goes straight over the top of this busy road. So, from here, because it's always good to have just some easy roads that go straight over like that, done. That'll help that flow go straight through. Now, this part right here, I removed this road connection here because I feel like we don't really need another road connection right here. There's so many other options for them to get into this area, so remove, removing that isn't really going to be an issue. You can see it's already helped with the flow, gone straight down, but then we still have a bit of traffic congestion down here now. Uh, I see what's happening. Let's remove this right turn so I can only go straight ahead. So, because they were waiting to turn left, but it was actually backing up all of this. So, as a result, that should flow faster. Um, again, let's just remove some of the lane changes on the roundabout, because they can change lanes lanes wherever. I just don't want it on the roundabout, because it congests everything up. This area looking good. I'm still skeptical about this, though. It seems like generally this is going good, so that's... A, so, yas about that, yas about that, that's going great. How is down here? This is looking good too. I'm glad to see a lot of them are coming from here, going down this new highway onto the new roundabout and directly onto the main highway, which will then take them up here. This is all looking pretty smooth. I have to admit, pretty, pretty smooth. Um, uh, the airport's looking good. This one over here is a ghost town for some reason. Maybe they're waiting for a plane to come in. I don't know. Over here looking good up here. Okay, good, good, easy. Um, hang on a sec, what was this? Excuse me, <laughs> rude, rude truck trying to pull in there. But yeah, I think that's generally it for this episode. We have done it, we did it, yes! Oh my god, it only took just an hour and 15 minutes, a little bit over what I usually do. But yeah, look at that, it's pretty good. So, what do you guys think? Oh, I feel really accomplished because if we just look at it like this, let me just get the camera, there we go. I don't see any traffic besides here, <laughs> just some of the lanes going in on and off. Is it okay? Hang on a second, just when I thought we were done. Just to be clear, you go there, and you go here, and then you, yes you, there we go, boom, done. 
Okay, current traffic percentage is now 69, oh, 69 again. It was 69 in the last one, 70. Okay, 70, it's it's pretty good for a decent sized city. Obviously it, can, it could be much more, but looking at the traffic percentage and actually looking at it in this area specifically, looks good. Anyway guys, that's all for this episode. Don't forget to send in your city. Who knows, maybe your city will be next. Um, Instagram is below if you wanna have a chat and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys.